Scotland boss Gordon Strachan says he genuinely believed that his side would grab a goal and claims it was just a matter of when. Scotland boss Gordon Strachan says he genuinely believed that his side would grab a goal and claims it was just a matter of when. Gordon Strachan insists he never lost belief as Scotland edged past Slovakia 10 in their World Cup qualifier thanks to an 89-the-minute Martin Skirtle own goal. Slovakia were reduced to 10 men after 23 minutes with Robert Mack shown a second yellow for simulation, and from then on Scotland dominated proceedings at Hampton Park. Chances came and went for the hosts as Slovakia stood strong, with goalkeeper Martin de Baruca pulling off a string of fine saves. How Group F looks in Europe's World Cup qualifiers with one game to go the crossbar twice denied Scotland two from Chris Martin and Lee Griffith's efforts before Skirtle turned the ball into his own net to keep the Tartan army on track for a playoff spot in November. Strachan admitted it would have been a disappointment if they had come away with anything other than a victory. IWASNT too bad to be honest with you, Strachan told Sky Sports after the match. I genuinely thought we were going to score a goal. I did. Highlights of Scotland's Group F World Cup qualifier against Slovakia from Hampton Park. Highlights of Scotland's Group F World Cup qualifier against Slovakia from Hampton Park. It would have been a huge disappointment if we didnt. That was some performance, I know there was 10 men there and it shook us for a bit, but that's because you do all your homework to face 11, we got a bit more time on the ball, they can keep the ball when they get it back, but there's no doubt about the man of the match, for them the goalkeeper. He was magnificent. And the crossbar was good as well. Injuries to Scott Brown and Stuart Armstrong meant Strachan had to make changes and he brought Barry Bannon, Darren Fletcher and James Morrison into midfield. Scotland's Chris Martin scored late on once again to keep the Tartan Army's World Cup dreams alive and felt that his side fully deserved the late win over Slovakia. Scotland's Chris Martin scored late on once again to keep the Tartan Army's World Cup dreams alive and felt that his side fully deserved the late win over Slovakia. A tense affair saw Martin, Ike Chianya and James MacArthur introduced in the second half with Slovakia continuing to thwart the hosts, and Strachan was delighted to see the fitness of all 14 players pay off with a late winner handed to them by the footballing gods. The 14 boys changed the result from a draw to a victory. It says a lot about their fitness because you need that to have mental strength, Strachan added. If you don't have fitness, you'll just be a weak person. People like Barry, who is five foot whatever, the same height as me, against a big, tall guy he kept plugging away. Chris Martin and Barry Bannon celebrate victory as Skirtle looks dejected. We've got all these great performances and what you get is the footballing gods who have decided to give us a victory. I'm just going to enjoy this for an hour and a half and then he'll think about the Slovenia game once this is over. Scotland head to Slovenia on Sunday, live on Sky Sports Football, where they know a victory would seal second spot, and with it, a likely playoff spot.